Hello, my name is David Witt. I'm from Ohio. I spent a lot of time in California. And today I'm going to show you a film of uh, uh, what it's like to go shopping in Bangkok. Uh, I've been living here in Bangkok, Thailand for 10 months now. And I hope you enjoy this clip. Thank you. Okay, so the first place I'm going to head over to is uh, the motorcycle taxi. And uh, after we hit the motorcycle taxi stand, we'll take a motorcycle to um, a soup, uh, the BTS train station. Um, from the Asuf train station, we'll hop on another motorcycle taxi over to Pan Kip Plaza. I decided to go to Pan Kip Plaza shopping today because I need some stuff for uh, my computer. And, uh, me being a computer guy, I find that a fun place to go hang out. BTS? BTS? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're now going to have to decide on which train platform. We have two choices, Mochit, which you see at the top of the green bar there. Uh, the other choice is Onnut, which the map will scroll down and you'll eventually see the Onnut uh, direction. Um, we're starting off at the uh, Souk uh, train station, and uh, which is E4. And uh, we're going over to the Ratchatui train station, which is N1. So again, there's Osuk. And uh, obviously, uh, Ratchatui is uh, in one, so the direction that we're actually heading is towards Mochit. So that's the train platform that I'm going to walk upon. Okay, so we're going to walk up on the Mochit platform. 
And uh, one thing I'll point out to you is that it is rush hour in uh, Bangkok right now. So uh, what's interesting here, as uh, we get up here to the platform, you see uh, at this particular train station, it's starting to get a little bit uh, crowded. Uh, we will get down to the main interconnect of the two. Uh, there's actually two main lines going through Bangkok, and there's only one point that they intersect, which is the Siam uh, connection. And obviously, it's just going to be absolutely a madhouse there. Again, so just keep this in mind as you're looking at this. This is rush hour, and um, you can see the train coming in now. And here's the train that uh, I'm going to try to get on. Uh, you'll notice that it's absolutely packed as uh, these doors open up, and uh, everybody making them dash to uh, to jump on the train. And in fact, you'll notice that um, I'm going to try to get on, but I'm not going to make it. There's just not enough room for me to uh, squeeze in there. And I'm going to try to run down uh, a couple doorways here and try to catch another doorway, as you'll notice. And um, the net effect is I'm going to end up missing this uh, particular train. It's just too packed. But it's all going to work out. You'll see it here in a moment. Now's a good time to talk a little bit about uh, BTS themselves. Uh, they do operate two lines uh, going through Bangkok. There's also a subway system, the MRT subway system, um, and there's points where you can connect to that as well. Uh, pretty much get all over uh, Bangkok that way, and if you end up someplace where you're a little uh, distant away from your final destination, of a gajillion taxis and motorcycle taxis, that type of thing. Um, as of June 2009, uh, the BTS people state on their website that uh, they record uh, over 450,000 passenger uh, trips per working day, so it's probably gone up a little bit since then, but uh, obviously it's a great way for uh, people in Bangkok to, uh, you know, get around during uh, rush hour, especially it's just uh, so congested uh, on the actual roadways themselves. So. Um, Everybody loves a BTS here. I love it, I know, and uh, most all my friends that uh, ride it all the time. Uh, and in fact, that's why most people, when you get an apartment, you typically want to live somewhere close by the BTS. But uh, pretty efficient means of travel and fairly cheap as well. Uh, this particular trip cost me 25 baht, which is a little bit Excuse less than a dollar uh, each you. way. So, Excuse me. again, BTS train station, fantastic so uh, technology right in the heart of Bangkok. So this is a good point to uh, talk about motorcycle taxis in general. Uh, these guys here, uh, there's a lot of them. They're an integral part of the society of Thailand, especially in Bangkok. Uh, obviously rush hour traffic, uh, probably the fastest way to get anywhere. These guys have no problems about going down a sidewalk, going in between cars, uh, basically just making sure they get you to your destination as quickly as possible. And uh, they also, a uh, great bunch of guys, if you get to know a good one, uh, keep his phone number around. If you got errands around town, uh, you need somebody to go pick something up for you, these are the guys to know. And everybody that lives here for a long time uh, probably always has uh, one or two phone numbers. of uh, a favorite motorcycle taxi guy that uh, they call and, uh, and have them run errands for you. They are very reasonably priced. Uh, this little trip here, uh, going over to Pan Tip uh, from the train station, is uh, only 20 baht, so uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
again, a great Very part good. of the society of Bangkok, Thailand. Okay, we're getting ready to go into the Pan Tip Plaza building here. Uh, I do want to point out that uh, Bangkok, Thailand has some of the best shopping in the world. This is an older mall here, but there's some uh, brand new malls, uh, Siam Paragon, Central World uh, as an example. Uh, some of the best shopping in the world occurs there. Uh, incredible brands are there. Um, there's also a lot of older shopping too, uh, you know, markets and that type of thing. And again, uh, some of the best shopping, old and new, in the world today, Bangkok, Thailand. I hope you enjoyed the clip.